Hi everyone, I chose to do my seminar presentation on poverty within Canada, those populations. And um, to address the engagement strategies, first off, I used a reference by Tanner, 2013, and she suggests using varied active learning strategies to facilitate effective engagement, as well as act asking open-ended questions to support critical thinking and individual thought. So I took this into consideration in my presentation, and I've tried to include various things to support your engagement, which are things like giving a scenario to support your understanding of some of the types of things someone living in poverty experiences, and also asking open-ended questions. So the objectives of this presentation are to identify what poverty means to you, learn about the prevalence with, of poverty in Ontario and how it can affect health, learn two primary care strategies that could help reduce poverty in Ontario and how nurses can be involved with these, and also the outcomes of the strategies. So, did you know in 2009, over 1.6 million people in Ontario were living at or below the poverty line? I want you to take a minute to think about this scenario where you imagine a life where you worry each month that you don't have enough money to make ends meet. You're scared that your children won't be as successful as you, as you want them to be because you lack the resources to feed them healthy foods and enroll them in extracurricular activities that support growth and development. And you have to choose to pay rent versus electricity. You've been in this poverty-stricken life for so long now that you can't imagine getting out of it. So for many of us, this scenario is unimaginable and I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. And as a nursing student in Peterborough, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's noticed, treated, and realized the effects poverty can have on our patients' health as well as the family's health as well. Research has indicated that unfortunately people living in low incomes are less likely to access health services they need, are at increased risk of developing chronic disease, report less than optimal health um, in terms of mental health, and have reduced overall lifespan and quality of life. Do you think this is acceptable considering we're living in Canada, which is a generally wealthy um, country? For me, the answer is no. We need to do something about this now. Upstream primary health care approaches are the best way to address the root of the problem, as dealing with poverty once, once it has already occurred is much more challenging and possibly less effective than preventing the root causes. I propose two strategies to help with the issue of poverty, which are number one, increasing minimum wage to $14 an hour, which is 10% above the poverty line, and have this increase with inflation. Number two, abolishing free fee for service and incentives for physicians and transitioning to other compensation models such as salary pay. Outcomes of these strategies would include decreased need for support such as food banks for these populations, increased standard of living and quality of life as measured by rated questionnaires individuals completed, reduction in social exclusion and increased accessibility to health services for all. Now, some of you may be wondering how nurses can be involved with these changes. Take a look at this link that I'm going to post underneath the video. It's a demonstration of how some healthcare providers in Ontario have actively involved themselves in advocacy and lobbying for patients in regards to poverty and changing that. The RNAO also demonstrates how nurses are involved with poverty reduction at a societal level through letters written to the Premier explaining what they think needs to be done, again in terms of poverty reduction. The issue of poverty is no simple problem and collaboration between sectors I think is a key to creating and implementing successful solutions. Healthcare providers are in a unique position in relation to this issue as we are the ones who witness the effects poverty can have on our patients' health. And as nurses, we are often the ones involved with education about supports. I think the ultimate goal would be to address the issue at a societal and organizational level as if we can prevent or reduce poverty, our communities on the whole would live better, more satisfying, healthy lives overall. 